Adding weight to your racket can have tremendous benefit in terms of performance. But before I go any further, I want to say when, when most people do add weight to their racket, it's in the form of lead tape. Lead tape has some definite health concerns, so we always recommend taking your racket into a professional for this kind of thing to be handled. So if you're looking to add power to your racket, the best place to start is at 12 o'clock on the frame. The tip of the racket is the furthest point away from the energy source, which is your arm, and it will put the most mass behind the ball on your swing. You have to be careful though, as you add more weight to the tip of your racket, it's also going to make your racket feel heavier in your hand and make it a little bit more difficult to swing, but it is the best place to add for power. If you're looking to add stability and torsional control over the racket, even on off-center hits, look at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock on the racket. Adding weight there distributes the weight across the center of the frame more, so when you're off the center, it twists less, so it's a stability spot. Um, make sure when you do add weight there that you're adding it on both sides of, gr of the grommet strip on both sides at 3 and 9 o'clock to make sure the, the weighting is consistent and even. This will add a little bit of power as well, but the main focus here again is stability. If you're looking to add control to your racket, a lot of players like to add weight into the handle. What that's going to do is it's going to raise the overall weight of your frame but at the same time not raise the swing weight since the new weight that you've added is so close to the energy source, which is your hand and your arm. It's gonna add beef to your frame, but not, not overall feel weight. And that's gonna allow the frame head to feel lighter and more whippy, and you can control it better and maneuver it better, especially if you're a doubles player with close contact volleys. 